Uh, the ambush got, uh, the cordon came in at just on daylight. They had these soil war aircraft flying around, telling everyone to go to the village centre. And we're just sitting there, we're all half asleep and that, and I just heard a pitter patter of little feet coming down the track. They sounded like big feet. I was just on daylight and I saw a few figures and I just let it rip. And I blew away a few people. But I should have waited. Or I should have yelled out, but I didn't know what to yell out, so I just let it rip. And there's three people dead now that shouldn't be dead. I know whether it's through my stupidity or over anxiousness or under training or just being psyched up. That it was a game there. But when I went out and saw that they, were, they weren't there no more, they were just lumps of flesh. And it's a woman, a baby, a little kid. Gone, gone for good. Now what am I in the wrong or in the right or what? And I've been living with that for 15 years. You say something to someone, they say you're an asshole. You shouldn't have gone there. I was 19 years old and I was sent there. If I'd have said no, I'm not going. When I was 20 years old, I'd have been sent there anyway, because of national script, you know, conscription. So before, I, just after I was 20 years old, I blew away three people. For what? Nothing then. Not a bloody brass razzu. All my mates had been blown away, lost limbs, and nothing. We're just shit. I can't sleep with an iron. Even in the middle of winter, I, I sweat like buggery. You have your crazy dreams. You're back there all the time. But everyone says, oh, yeah, that's a lot of bullshit. You've been watching too many war movies. But it's not a lot of bullshit, because you're not watching war movies. The war movies are in there. And I know what they're like. I can't show you a picture of what I'm seeing all the time. You might see a John Wayne War movie where all the heroes win, but in the John Wayne movie that I see, none of the heroes win. And I'm just seeing what the shit is that's left behind. All the extras that aren't getting up to come back and get paid. Like the one that lay there for two days that we had to search. He was fly blown. And when you see a fly blown body, he's bloated. And we had to search him to find out who he belonged to. And then we had to dig up other bodies to find out who they belonged to. And while we're digging up this bunker, it started to rain. And we're in a sort of a mud type clay situation. And they'd been blown away really good and proper. And we were pulling them out in bits and pieces. And you could hear the mud as you're pulling their bodies out. And you had to go through their pockets, you had to go through their packs. So we, we just treated it as a game. Because that's all it was. We weren't hurt. They couldn't hurt us because they were in bits and pieces. So you just throw the pieces up and you say, oh yeah, well, we've got two legs, an arm, a torso. Oh, we'll call that one. Say, oh shit, we've got one here that's got three arms and only one leg. Oh, well, we'll move it arm around, we'll make him a full one. Hey, we're missing a head or two here. So I'll we'll just put a lump of clothes here, that'll do. Taking one wine from tonight. Get drunk, I think. And I mean get drunk. Because then we'll go down again. Because I'm back there. I can see all that shit again. I can see all those contacts. I can see all that bloody garbage that we went through.
What about Gallipoli? What about one, two, Korea, Malaya? There's got to be someone go. It's just that we're, we're so screwed up psychologically now and we're not getting any help from anyone. Government, people in the streets, anything. We're just arseholes. Because we went to friggin' Vietnam. Forget about the war in Vietnam. You're not crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. You just think you're crazy. Have a beer. I so say, you have another 20 or 30 beers, and you say, oh, yeah, well, I'm not crazy. But you're quite happy to sit there drinking. Well, when you wake up next morning, you think, you know, shit, I am still crazy. <laughs>